What is up, everyone? This is Ian Bryant here with Orb Up. Uh, wanted to make a video today. Got some requests and some questions um, over the past, I don't know, a couple months or more about light tools. And uh, I've shown um, my techniques in a video before and um, using uh, my homemade tool and also using um, Frank... Uh, Frank's tool, um, light excursion, and also Dennis, the ball of light. Um, and some of the questions that I got on these tools was um, that they were a little expensive and there was some questions on what um, someone could do on their own. Uh, I personally love both of the tools. Uh, they work great for me, um, but I also have my own tool that I've made and I'm going to show you how to do that fairly cheap. So we'll start off by getting a battery powered um, light uh, LED light kit, I guess you could call it. Um, you can get these on Amazon. Um, just search for LED battery powered LED lights. Uh, I believe this one has 40 uh, lights on it. Um, you can get all the way up to, oh man, like over a hundred. Um, and uh, they just get a little bit difficult to work with. So this is basically what you have. Um, you've got all the strand of lights. Um, and it's all wound up. Yes, this is a nightmare. And so there you go. Uh, it takes uh, double A's, three, and we will show you what that looks like straight out of the box okay so this is a green one um, all the lights light up uh, we're all set there I'm gonna take these batteries out uh, so I don't short out anything with what we're about to do here okay so first thing uh, is really the easiest part which is you want all of these if you see there's these little LEDs um, and you want each of them pointing outward. Um, so when you go to uh, spin it, all of your lights are facing uh, down or out. Um, so just go through and this takes a minute. So I will uh, use the fast forward feature here while I do this. Okay, so now you've got a little ball basically, and we want to make sure this doesn't unspool. So I've got a little zip tie we're going to use here. Don't pull it so tight that you damage the wire. And then you just want to cut off the ear. Cool. All right. So let me show you what that looks like real quick and uh, so you get an idea of where we're going with this. Okay, so basically we've just got a great little green ball here. Um, it's super, super light um, and it's really bright. Our next step is going to be, um, we obviously can't, spin this for an orb um, so we are going to first do one thing which is to cut in half um, and then we are going to get the wires ready Okay, now here's where uh, you can go in different directions. Every orb tool that I've personally made, I use the 16 
two 16 gauge two conductor speaker wire that's jacketed so if you look inside we've got a red and a black um, wire with copper conductors again they're 16 gauge um, and I love this wire this is um, you won't you may not find this at a hardware store it's um, for more high-end custom um, speaker can uh, for in like in-home installations um, I just love the jacket um, because it doesn't um, it doesn't bind it doesn't kink it doesn't have issues and it's just really really strong um, but I, I definitely recommend sticking with at least a 16 gauge uh, wire um, you know, the wire that the, this is using is probably a 22 gauge. You definitely want something thicker and more robust than that. Cause when you're s spinning this really, really hard, anything, um, one, anything that's solid core is going to break. So no RG six, no RG 59, anything like that. It's gotta be stranded. Um, and then I just recommend trying to find some, um, nice, uh, speaker wire that's jacketed, um, so that there's, um, something to hold on to. Now, this will burn if you don't wear a glove. Um, this rubber, when you're spinning, if you spin really fast like I do, it will give you blisters. So I always wear gloves. But so this is actually what we're going to use for the cord itself that you're going to hold on to, um, to to do the spin. And I'll show you when we're done the one that I've used for a lot of my shots. And I've probably spun it uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, and it's not aged at all. So. Um, now I ran out of, uh, butt connectors, um, um, or crimp caps, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I'm going to actually solder these, um, and, um, instead, and we'll, uh, see how that goes. I haven't used a solder gun in quite some time, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot here. Okay, so we've got uh, one end soldered on, um, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just heat shrink these real quick so they don't um, touch each other. Again, uh, you don't have to do soldering. Um, you know, I, I crimp caps will work perfectly fine. Um, but the one thing we're going to do now um, is to make sure. So this is the end that's going to be spinning. And, you know, if we left it like this, these would come off almost immediately um, just from the sheer force. So what we'll do is we'll um, actually uh, and even even if we left this hanging like that, um, this this wire would eventually break. So what I always recommend doing is uh, we're actually going to attach the um, ha basically halfway point of the LED light um, lights and that, that kind of bundle that we formed. We're going to attach it to the speaker cord so that there's, um, there's no pressure being put on the, those cords because they're really fragile. Um, and normally what I'll do is use one or two zip ties and then we'll wrap it with some um, electrical tape just to uh, uh, protect it because this, uh, this end's probably going to get hit with rocks and you're going to drag it across the ground sometimes and you may hit some um, who knows what. Um, but it's going to get a little bit of a beating. So um, I always like to uh, just give it a little protection here. Uh, the 3M, um, or sorry, the uh, Scotch Super 33 electrical tape is what I recommend. You can always tell it's got the um, yellow inside. It's just the best. Um, it's not going to um, rot, uh, dry rot, or crack uh, with water or anything. Um, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's the best electrical tape that you can buy. So, all right. So we're halfway there. We've got this end finished up. So 
So now we've got half of our orb tool here, okay? Um, as far as the length is concerned, um, you can make this any length you want. Um, what I generally do, because of the way that I spin this specific tool, I like to have it really long because I'll hold this in my, uh, I'm left-handed, so I'll hold this in my right hand and turn it on and off, and then I'll spin with my left. Um, and so it gives me that extra slack to be able to, to make this work. So, uh, the, the next step is basically the exact same thing, um, to the other side where the battery, uh, pack sits and, um, I'm stripping off about, oh, maybe quarter to quarter, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch, half an inch, just to get enough surface area to, for the um, solder to sit on. If you went with crimp caps, um, you could go uh, much shorter. Now, I can't remember if these have polarity or not. Um, so basically what I mean by that is uh, if, they're, um, if there's a positive and a negative conductor, um, these are running such short or uh, such small voltages um, that um, if even if yeah so there is polarity um, so if you saw when I went this way it didn't work um, what's frustrating is is this specific one they didn't um, put normally they'll have silver and copper conductors so that you know the difference between positive and negative but they didn't do that here um, so we're uh, we're gonna we did it by testing. So what's uh, right here is our negative, and this one's our positive, and we will solder this end. Cheap soldering gun. Real cheap. Okay, so uh, normally that would not take that long, but my soldering skills are a little rusty and um, I don't have a, uh, a clamp set here to uh, hold all the things stable, so why it took a little longer okay so we're basically pretty much done we're gonna um, we're gonna wrap this up um, now uh, on this side uh, I'm not gonna attach the um, I'm not gonna attach the box to the white uh, wire you could if you wanted to um, what I've done in the past on some of these others, if I've, there's um, some other ones I'll show you here in a second, I have a hook to it and I'll like hook it. Um, if you want, you can. Um, this is what I would do if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to make sure that basically that this connection here um, doesn't fray, um, is that I would secure um, the entire device to the wire, but the, what the prob problem is is to do that, you got to wrap a zip tie around it. And then you, um, when you go to open and close the battery compartment, you have to take the zip tie off and put a new one on. So for this one, for right now, um, we're just going to basically, uh, zip tie this and then put some electrical tape on it. And that's that. So when you uh, when you go to spin this, I would recommend like maybe you can uh, hold it like this. Again, if you do this um, and then you're spinning, um, it's eventually going to uh, pull this connection out uh, from inside, and it's really uh, qu tight quarters in there, and so it would be really hard to get that. So um, again, I would recommend either zip tying it to this or taping it, and then when you get replace the batteries you'll just have to pull that off and redo it again or just make sure you hold it like this um, whichever hand but this is basically it man um, this is what I started with um, this is what I um, was uh, shown um, and 
I I love it. The only downside um, is you can't uh, vary the light, so there's no potentiometer in here um, to allow for dimming of the light, so it's pretty much fixed, and it is pretty bright. Um, so in like a condition of um, pitch black or you're trying to get um, star field or um, stars in the background, you're going to blow out the image you, because of the sensitivity you need to ca capture that. Um, and that's where uh, the tools that uh, Frank and Dennis have come really, really in handy. One, uh, they change colors. Uh, the Dennis, uh, Frank says uh, color changing built in, dimming, strobes, um, Frank's or Dennis has uh, different heads with different colors, but also the dimming and a trigger trigger system. So um, you don't have to to try and turn it on and off with a switch. It's just a push button that you hold. At all both of theirs are amazing products. Uh, I like I said, I have both, and I use them on different um, different shots depending on um, what I'm looking for. Um, so, but this is super cheap, super easy. Um, it, you know, I think the, the lights were, um, like five bucks. Um, you can get the speaker wire at the store. I'd get, you know, maybe 10 feet. Um, you can get that, um, at a hardware store, or if you know someone in um, uh, and the integration industry, so like, uh, home technology, they can get you some of the wire. Uh, and then uh, I'll show you what I the the one that I use. So if you've ever seen um, any of my uh, any of my pictures, uh, Ian Bryant photography. This is the one that basically, if it's a big giant solid green uh, orb, this is it. So this is about uh, I think sixty um, bulbs. So it's even brighter, and it's just a you know big. I, I like. <laughs> I like this. It holds six batteries instead of three. You can run it with three, uh, or you can put six in. It just extends the life of it. Um, and so you can see where I tied off. There's a little loop here, and so I tied this off to protect this connection um, from, and then and protect this from getting frayed. So this is what I used for man for a long time, and I've done some of my best shots. I still take this this setup with me. Um, when I go, even with uh, Frank and Dennis's tool, I still always carry this one with me. Um, and you can get them in other colors. Um, this is, uh, you know, here's another one I did. This will show you the crimp caps. So uh, you can pick these up at Lowe's. You can pick them up at um, like an auto zone. Um, they're just, uh, you can call them crimp caps or butt connectors, uh, splice connectors. Um, and it's just a lot quicker and easier. You'll just need a crimping tool. Um, but this is one that I did a while, a while ago. I don't even remember what color it is. Uh, let's find out. And then, um, I've got another one over here that kind of unspooled itself. I don't even know if this one works. Oh, cool. It's red. Yeah, I think I remember this. Uh, the issue I had was that it's only it's actually less LEDs than the one we just made. Uh, it's like 30, and it just wasn't bright enough for some of the conditions I was working in. Um, at the time, I was doing a lot of shots that had a very bright um, background. So like if you're you know, in an alleyway or um, in a cityscape where there's lots of uh, ambient light or lots of lights around you, you're really going to need something that's going to be really, really bright. And that's kind of why I went uh, for so long with my mean green, the big guy. That's why I love this one so much is because um, in a cityscape or inside of areas that's really bright, it just shined like crazy. Um, but this one just wasn't bright enough. And the red doesn't pick up as bright either. Um, and then I'll show you this last one that I made. Um, and so you can see what happens um, after some use. So this is a white one, uh, or clear, whatever, um, you want to call it. But, um, so it came unraveled. Um, I, I believe I just, I was spinning it really, really fast and it hit, uh, it hit the ground and it just came unraveled. So what I'll do is I'll basically pack it all together. Like we did on that one we just made. And then, uh, I'll, I'll tape this all back up and it'll be good to go again. So, you know, 
Again, these are super easy and cheap to make. Um, if you want different colors, you're going to have a lot of gear and with a lot of batteries. Um, I, you know, these are great starting tools um, and great kind of backup tools. Uh, I, I highly recommend after you, you know, start out and playing around with things to, you know, hit up some of the guys um, that are making their own um, that you could buy um, and th get creative. Uh, this is just one way to make them. I know that there are other ways to make them. And, um, I, this is just how I was taught and this has always worked for me. So good luck out there. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to hit me up again. Thank you for all the support and, um, yeah, happy spinning.